goodness, with face, pat, and tis. And I think that's a perfect segue to kind of get into a uh, face segment. So, uh, face, what are we talking about this week? Squid, squid, squid game. Squid game, squid game, squid game. And Alice in Borderland. Ain't nobody talking about Alice in Borderland yet, but they will soon be on that. But right now, we're going to first jump into Squid Game. If you haven't heard, Squid Game, Korean series out on Netflix, all the outlets are talking about it right now. Um, I brought it up between the bros, so we've all took a sample of it. Me, personally, I finished the series because on my downtime, I binge watch stuff. Because if it's a movie, I'm going to watch the movie two or three times just so I can get every detail. If it's a series, I'm going to binge watch it right then. And I have to rewatch it the whole, all, all over again to make sure I get every detail. Right now, I just finished watching Squid Game a couple of days ago. I haven't started rewatching it yet, but boy, oh boy. I'm not going to give you no spoilers. I'm not going to go into detail about every episode. We're just going to go over the overview of what we've seen so far. Um, I believe it's y'all up on episode one, right? Yeah, I got the one. We I wasn't able to get the to one. the rest of it, but I got the one. One was trippy enough. We can definitely cover, we can definitely cover what we've seen so far. And Let's I can do definitely it. just a little bit of the overview of it. So as far before we go into episode one, just an overview of the series. Like Squid Game itself, it's, it's a journey of, what can I say, dedication, desperation, um, revenge and just the human humanistic elements of each person. You feel like what we're willing to do, what we're not willing to do just to be able to yes. survive. Boy, so, I'm up to episode up. five. And <sighs> so I got a theory about something. Good. But I'm scared to go there because I don't want to spoil nothing for myself either. And Go I ahead, definitely don't want to fuck up Pat's I, experience. Like I said, I, I ain't but you've seen the first me. episode, right, Pat? Yeah, I've seen the first episode. Okay, so you I, so you seen it. Sport. So you've seen the old dude then. Yeah, I seen the All old right. dude. Okay. And I openly so, watch spoilers, so I don't even care. My, <laughs> the, my theory is the old dude is this nigga daddy. Or some wild shit like that. Like or he related to him or something, or they can each other somehow in a way, but they don't realize it somehow, like they've been separated I'll or something like, like this. Some shit like that. It is some wild shit with that old motherfucker. But that's all I'm gonna get you. It is some wild shit with him. Because they've been the in two had. buddy buddy, they got some weird similarities and shit. Oh, like it's just some weird it's shit going on two, with them too. It's two major flips. It's two major flips. So you already into it. So I can't get because Pat ain't into it always. So I can't eat too much. But it's two major flips. Once you get past the episodes you at, you can get one big flip. It's two major flips on the last two episodes. Then you're gonna be like <laughs> Which oh shit, no, nah, cause then I'm gonna fuck it up. Oh so, yo, so, if y'all ain't seen this show, man. this show is fucking amazing. Man. I, it's, like it's a very good show. I got my wife on and everything. That shit part. People who watched our show, y'all see the different type of stuff we watch, and y'all see the different type of stuff I recommend. I've never really recommended a series. I recommend movies because I'm a movie hater. I consider myself to be movie buff. But just on series, I'm an eclectic person, but I recommend this series, not just based on everybody in America rating the top top series right now and all that. I don't, I don't care what nobody else really thinks. So about what I think. And I think Everybody should take a sample of this movie, of this series. Give it at least a three or four episode chance. You feel me? It's subtitles. So if you don't like reading, it may not be for you. But if you are a mentalist like myself and my cohorts, you may want to watch it. Ain't nothing wrong with reading. Elevate your mind. Um, but this Korean series is on point. Uh, like I said, Desperation. No. Desperate. They got drama. They got a little bit of comedy in there. Um, action, uh, mystery, every element of a good Yo, series is in this series. I'm going to tell um, y'all this, man. I ain't say this in a minute. I ain't never think I'd see a show that I would put up there with Breaking Bad. This show yeah, is man. like, like, this is the best show I've seen since Breaking Bad. And I, and I really like Watchmen. I really like a lot of shows, but this is really taking the case. Because it is so many dynamics. Like, now, if you like, if you don't like gore, 
Don't watch it because it'd be some niggas dying. Yes. But, um, it, 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 is it, it is a rated R show. Um, yeah. It does have blood and gold. Don't, don't let your kids has... pull up on this one, champ. Um, yeah. Not what you do. It's not a. Uh, uh, Oh, Every family. first episode, not anime. at least a good 40 to 50 people, probably more than that. I, I stopped counting, but at least a good 40 to 50 people die throughout the entire third act of the show. The first episode, like you're just watching minute by minute, more and more people get murked. Mm. But you can't look away because it's so intriguing the way they do it. Um <laughs> What's the last game you see him play? Tug of War. Woo. I heard about it. Like, I... That Tug of War shit? That old nigga was slick with that shit. I was like, what the that fuck? Tug- that didn't work. The Tug of War shit? Mm. That was a good game. Yeah. Red Light, Green Light? Yo, Red Light, Green Light was... Yo, the first episode, y'all... If you ever played like childhood games like in the hood, like Red Light, Green Light, and Fox, Mother May I and shit like that, like Hopscotch even, like all your childhood games that you played with your homies in the neighborhood have been turned into these demented ass kill thing, kill machines. Like you just you'll die. And you these do. people signed up for this shit. Voluntarily. Voluntarily. Now the no. premise of the game. This is the key. This is the key element everyone has to remember. Now, every time someone perishes during the game, I think it's another hundred thousand added onto the pot that you mm-hmm. win, or that mm-hmm. it's possible for you to win. But the key thing is, everyone joins this game voluntarily. The only way the game ends is if there's a winner at the end, or if, if a majority of the people decide together they want to just stop the game altogether. Yep. But remember, the more people who die, the more money is added onto the pot we could possibly win. So and everyone in this game is in deep, deep financial problems or deep problems in their own personal lives. Yeah, they are like gamblers and people who lost shit and like yeah. It's like damn if you do, damn if you don't. It's well, like, roughly, do I want to go back to this roach infested life I was living, or do I want to go ahead and try to get this money and try to out outlast these other motherfuckers? Do I die and fast or die it's slow? People, it's a cornucopia of ages of different people. You feel me? It's not just all Korean because it's one um, it's one guy from Pakistan in the movie as well, Ali. Um, great guy, great guy, Ali, man, great guy. And I just want to say this. It's a lot of people on Twitter right now that I've heard are down and saying, whoop, can't hate on single man. At the end of the day, he's a realist. Once y'all, really, once y'all get through this series, this series y'all going to look back and say, whoop, like, you know what? I can't hate on him, yo. I know he did some fucked up shit. I don't, I don't know. I ain't there yet with that. Huh? Maybe after episode nine, but uh, after episode five, fuck same whoop. Yeah, I was saying that too. I'm with the other Twitter, Twitter, tweet, tweet heads. Hey, y'all on Twitter, I'll, I'm with y'all. Fuck same whoop. Word. Tell me, man. Um, but that's a crazy ass. <laughs> if you like binge watching. If you like psychological thrillers, if you like action, if you like uh, even some like dark, if you like kind of dark off deep humor, even um, yes, because I ain't gonna lie, I I died laughing when the uh, old man was running on the first episode. Like when he was running, he kept yeah. Like he was, <laughs> like, why is this nigga gritted like that? Nigga, he's hard as a bitch. It These so motherfuckers is dying around him, and this nigga just. But you see why he <laughs> went? Because right? his movements were so slow and so smooth. Everybody else was running. When they would stop, they would joke. And it was, he couldn't yeah, he was glad that he hit the brakes like, fast. Oh. 
<sighs> he also won't try to push it. He was like, yeah, I'm going to uh, stop a few seconds before I think this thing about to turn around, make sure I got time to set up. Uh -huh. But at the end, right, the people that made it, the people that made it all the way to the end, did they, after a while, did they just kill the rest? So I the think people that did not make it got killed. Yeah. yeah. So if you was yeah. if you uh -huh. were still behind that line, it was like, oh well, you still lost. Good day. And it and you had to be at the at the point at a by a certain time, right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yep. Every, every game got a got a time limit. So if you lose the game, you you lose. If you don't participate in the game, you lose. So you better you just better, win. You better win. <laughs> <laughs> All you and better you do is win. You can't do it. Even, like, even though the game is a sadistic game at times, it, the game has morals. And the creators of the yeah. game always want everyone to have an equal opportunity to win. They don't want no one to have no advantage and shit like that. So, I, 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 I mean, if they make an American version of this series, I don't know. I like it, though. I don't know. If it's I just want damn an happened. American version. I just want them to make the season two. I love this one. I want it to be a season two. That's that's all I can say. I'm hooked. I've watched every episode. I'm going to start watching it again. The, the first season again. So I heard the. But, uh, go ahead. I heard the creator of it. Like he he was trying to push the story like ten years ago or whatever. Mm -hmm. He's been trying and, to get out there. Yeah. For a long time, they denied it, and then now it's like the top series on Netflix. Yes, it is, and the top series in my heart too. Alice in Borderland. Before we move on, now if you yeah. like, if you like Squid Game, I really, I this is what I was saying: watch Squid Game first, then mm -hmm. watch Alice in Borderland. Like I feel like you're more likely to get engaged with Alice in Borderland once you watch Squid Game because it sets your brain up for that type of um, yeah. thing, because Alice in Borderland, its first episode, I've only gotten through the first episode of that one, but it's a little bit slower to mm -hmm. build up than Squid Game. Like, Squid Game, it starts off like, the dude regular life is kind of off, so it's like, you, mm -hmm. you got some shit to kind of get you going early. You know it's going to be some shit going on. With the Alice in Borderland, like, you're literally just going through these people mundane-ass day. Until the shit jumps off. But when yep. the shit jumps off, it jumps the fuck, fuck off. off. Like, the fuck off. If you a person like me that likes to watch uh, movies and shows and likes to, like, try to, try to, like, figure shit out, if you like puzzle games, if you like shit like that, Alice in Borderland mm -hmm. is, is it's your important. shit. Because, like... You get into it, yeah. oh, God. The more you get into it, you would think the story would unfold more as you find out details. But as you find out more details, the story gets more complicated. So it just draws you in further because you want to find out more to find out more. Yeah. It, I hope they don't fuck it up. But it reminds oh, me of Lost. If you if y'all remember that show Lost, mm -hmm. it's like yeah. it's what it's really good. And at the end of each show, instead of you having more answers, you have more questions. Like yes. the first episode ended, and I was more confused about what the fuck I had just watched than I had. Like, like I was like, okay, I finally got it. I get what's going on. So they okay. So now they about to do this. I knew they was about to do it again, but then all of a sudden they showed the sky, and I was like, what the fuck is this shit? Okay, so so where are they at? Is this still Earth? Like, what the fuck is this shit? So it's one of them shows, y'all. Um, if you have not seen it, please, please go see these two it. shows, yo. I, I yeah. cannot advocate for it enough. Um, one is um, Squid Game is all Korean. It's a Korean. Um, it's a Korean film, a Korean series. Alice in Borderland is a Japanese series. And it's Both best if you put the American voice on. Don't put the subtitles yeah. on. Put the yeah. American. Put the dub on. Because not only will you actually understand it, but it's also funnier because you know the vocal yeah. inflections don't be matching the actual <laughs> like feel of the scene sometimes. So it, it'll give you like a little chuckle because like it'd be some crazy shit going on and be like, hey, yeah, you know, and like yeah. motherfucker, it's fire on your ass. How are you talking like that? 
It's not, nigga, you, you are burning alive. Tell some, yeah, like, ow. Right like, like, you know, so uh, like said, it's good I time. Really don't want series, but those two series got me hooked. Um, I finished both. I'm upset I finished both, but uh, I grew up in the 80s and 90s, and I hate watch, hate waiting week to week to watch one episode. I, could, I, just, Hell, I have yeah. the opportunity to do it. I'm gonna binge it and then just binge it again because hey, it's worth watching again. It's definitely, it's definitely mm. good enough to watch the series twice. I recommend it once again. Squid Game and Alice in Borderland, both on Netflix. If you don't have Netflix, get it just so you can watch those two. Indeed, yo. Steal somebody else's password yeah. real quick. It's I'll let your grandma. She ain't using it. She ain't using it all the time. Mm. Ain't that it's many good. episodes of Medlock on there. Oh, uh, or gun smoke, <laughs> bonanza, whatever your grandmother watches. My grandmother watched westerns. I don't know. In the heat of the night, yo, I got trouble. Oh <laughs> man, that is hilarious. Um, uh, but yeah, so um, uh, check out those two shows, people: Squid Game and then Alice in Borderland. I promise you, though, if you watch oh, Alice no. in Borderland first, it may not suit you. If you watch Squid Game first, even just the first episode of that, and then watch Alice in Borderland, you will be more intrigued by Alice in Borderland. It, it, yeah. It's literally like a good pairing of shows. It's like if you want to have like a Thursday night lineup, those are like, you could, if you don't want to binge and you want to kind of have like that suspense where you watch it weekly, a good way to do it is like watch one and watch uh, Squid Game and then watch Alice in Borderland. Cause it's like, mm -hmm. They're good, good they're good segues into each other. So yeah. Good Check idea. them out. Please. Uh face face be coming with some shit. Sometimes it'd be like really weird. And they'd be just like, man, what the fuck did you have me watch? Mm -mm. But then a lot of times it'd be some shit that'd be like, that was really fucking good. Thank you for suggesting that. Good. But my house is That's definitely a squid game house because me and the wife are on that now. So uh, we got our new uh Little date show now, you know. <laughs> Add that to the list. We're also now watching Loki together because I had ha have yet to watch that full series, so we're on that together. So I also recommend Big Mouth. Who? Big, Big Mouth. Big oh yeah. Mouth. Is that the one with the monsters? Definitely. Yeah, with the few yeah. monsters. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Me and the wife definitely watched that. We already got through that. Yeah, yeah. It was on that. New season coming out. October. Ooh, when? New season coming out. Ooh. I will get back on that. That sounds amazing. Oh, bro. That's good TV there, folks. Well, good oh, yeah, computer. Yeah. I don't even know what to call shit no more when it's a show no more. Good media. Yeah, because ain't nothing on TV no more. It's just all streaming shows. Like, TV ain't no, shit no more. If you want to get a good show, you got to go to a streaming service. I stay there for the old folks. Big fat. Um, so, yeah, man. Please, please, please watch those two shows.